everyone welcome to my channel I'm crafty lady Edda. today we're gonna be doing a very special project now if you like what I do please subscribe and tap that notification bell it lets YouTube know that you like my videos and you want more content and so that you won't miss anything either because I do upload regularly and like and subscribe and share okay well with all this being said let's get started Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Edda. Uh, today we're going to be making a bubble wreath, uh, an Easter bubble wreath. It's going to be very pretty. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need a round frame. It could be anywhere from a 12 to 14 inch or even a 10 inch. This one is about a 12 inch, okay? You're going to need three of these Easter mesh and two of these colored Easter mesh. You're going to need some Chanel stems. You're going to need, they didn't have any any uh, Easter fillers for bosses, so I got these. They had these over there by the floral. I'm going to be using the round, the round bubble, the little round bubble thingies to uh, put around the mesh. You're also going to need some wire, any kind of wire. You can use floral wire. I'm using this. You're going to need uh, some uh, flowers. These, I've had these in my stash for a long time. Uh, this one is this type of flowers. They're embroidery flowers. I bought these at Michael's, I mean Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I use these in my DIYs. Or you can do these paper flowers. These are paper flowers that um, I make. They're just made out of regular paper. I'll do a DIY on how you can make these. But these are paper flowers that I made a long time ago. I use book pages and other types of paper. The reason why you have these flowers is you're also going to need a hat. You can put your flower on. And you're going to need a little stuffed animal, an Easter animal. I got this one at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. They have different ones. This is the one I happen to really like. Okay. All right. Well, with all this being said, let's get started. Okay, first what you're going to do is you're going to need a, a measuring mat or a ruler and a rotary uh, a rotary tool. This is to cut the, the mesh. It cuts it with a cleaner cut. You don't have a, a, one of these. Uh, you can get these anywhere. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere in the craft section. and Or you can use scissors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get several pipe cleaners. These are left over from Christmas, so any pipe cleaners will do. They don't have to match. They're going to be in the back, so you're not really going to see. I'm just going to take a few pipe cleaners, and I'm going to cut them in half, okay? I'll start off with about three. Then you're going to fold them, and you're just going to cut them in half. Okay, because we're going to use this to wrap our bubble wreath. I'll do two more. Okay, just cut these in half. Okay, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start unrolling this, this uh, deco mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this color, the purple. Then I need something to hold it down. And then we're going to start with this other color. And we're going to place this one on top. On top of this one, okay? Okay, now, what we're going to do we're going to get our wreath, okay? We're going to hold on. We're going to get our wreath, and we're going to get one little piece of a pipe cleaner. We're going to get it about this much. Roll it out. We're going to get it. And we're going to put it right here in the second one, okay? 
You're going to tie this in here. It's going to be in the second one. Tie it tight. You can use a pipe cleaner or you can use a... What do they call it? Zip tie. I'm just using the pipe cleaner. Now, you're going to cut it. Don't cut it too short. You want to make sure it's really tight, okay? Now, you're going to get this, and you're going to push this into the back. Right here, like that. You're going to cut it just a little bit, okay? Now, okay, now, what you're going to do, we don't need this rock anymore. What you're going to do is we're going to roll out this mesh. It's going to be rolled out this way, okay? All right. You're going to measure it about eight inches. About up to here. You're going to get it, make a bubble like this. And you're going to put it on the third one. See, one, two, three, on the third one. So you're gonna attach it, you're gonna make a bubble. You're going to attach it to this third one with one of these pipe cleaners. Just make sure it's eight inches long, okay? Okay, guys, I already did one roll. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So each one's going to need six all the way around. You do it the same way. Okay? It's going to be really pretty. Okay, now, guys, you're going to continue this same thing all the way around, okay? There's nothing, there's nothing really too complicated about it. You're just going to take this in, measure it up to eight, Bubble it up like this, just like we did the other one. Just put your little pipe cleaner and continue to the next row. Okay? Hold on. Guys, when you start getting close to the end before you have to start using another one, you want to make sure that it's uh, eight inches long. So make sure that when you measure it and it shows eight inches, that you cut it at least an inch more for the reason that For the reason that um, it will not, um, you know, it won't like, come out of the, the this little loop here. 
This is the last one, so we're gonna have to start another one. Okay, so I've got one, two on this one. I'm gonna start it here, loop it through, tie it, cut it a little, and you're going to get this mesh that was left over, bring it through, push it back, bring it through. You're just going to trim it a little bit, okay? So you won't have all this sticking out. Just like you did when you first started. Okay, so we got one, two. Now we need to start on another one. Okay, now that I finished, each one has six, okay? We'll fix it in the front in a minute. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of like fix the, the back a little bit by pushing all the pipe cleaners down so you won't poke yourself with a little wire. Okay, now what you wanna do is turn this over and kind of fix the front a little bit by pulling the bubbles out just a little bit, not too much. You could see a little bit of this colored mesh and the purple mesh. So you're gonna get it and you're gonna pull it through like this. Look, you're gonna get it. You're just gonna pull this one through a little bit. See, watch like this. So you can see a little bit of the yellow and the pink. Okay guys, this is already done. So we're going to get uh, a long piece of wire, measure it from this end to this end because you're gonna end up putting it around there by turning it over so make so it'll fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick it through the little bottom. Now, while we got that there, we're going to go ahead and put this here so that we can use this to hang. Okay, guys, now I'm going to go ahead and hot glue the flowers onto this hat. I'm gonna put it more towards the front. I'm gonna put two of them. And I'm gonna hopple this hat down to the side. Like this. I'm just gonna put two little dots. Just hold it down until it dries. God, this is coming out so cute. Okay. 
see his her little uh, hat. It's pretty. Okay, now. I had some carrots on hand, so I thought maybe we could put a couple of carrots, like like he's holding some carrots. Okay, first let me hot glue this together, the carrots. I bought these carrots off Amazon. I'll put the link below where I got them and how much they were. Okay, and then we could put them here like he's holding them, right there. I'm sorry, like she's holding them. Hey guys, here's the finished product. Came out so cute. I really love it. Well, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all of my upcoming videos because I will be posting some more Easter videos out. Okay, well, with all this being said, keep on crafting. Bye. <music>